Until now, I thought that the anti-non-European anti spirit was limited to crazy politicians. Indeed, most of the Belgian people I ever met were friendly and accepted the international people, especially international students. And I thought that KU Leuven was friendly to Fangaea. It's a wonderful example. It seems to be the embassy of heaven on earth sometimes. However, recently at KU Leuven, some policies are being changed. And these guys, under the rhetorics of making this university more international, the treatment that international students used to get is going away and it's getting worse. I know that in my life, the hardest obstacle has been the lack of money. And my whole enterprise of studying has been always limited by it, as you just heard. So it's extremely sad for me to see that suddenly they want to increase the tuition fees for non-European students in many faculties, including the Institute of Philosophy, where they increase it from 900 to 3,500, more than three times extra. If they had done that two years ago, I would not have been able to come. I would not have been able to study any master, not here, not there. And it's obvious for me that all my classmates, most of them could have not come neither, if they tried. I knew the other philosophers in Mexico, they are not rich neither. Yet, <coughs> Mexico does not appear in that list of poor countries of the Institute of Philosophy. They don't seem to realize that earning such quantities of money does not happen in the rest of the world. That international students are not rich kids necessarily. Could be. That's not a crime. But even if they are rich, they don't come here just to spend the money. They come here just as everyone to develop themselves. To grow up intelle intell intellectually and to contribute to the humanity to solve its hardest problems. International problem, international uh, students are a benefit for local students. They enrich experience and bring ideas. There are many, very few uh, international students in Mexico. It's a very different experience to hear. I never met so many international people in my life. I think also that Belgian students should be aware that this is not going, not, not just affecting us. This type of politics will at some point turn against them too. This could be a test for increasing their tuition fees for them. And it's impossible for me to not be against this. And it's insulting for me that in my school, my second alma mater, the Institute of Philosophy, they increase it, arguing that we international students have mental problems and that they will use the new money to hire specialists to treat our mental problems. If I had any mental problem, it was because of the stress to pay to survive and to study in there and it will be solved with less economical stress. It's also stupid that they argue that the school will have more prestige because it's more expensive. If they want people that will judge a school for that, then they are not getting the best students. A person that goes to a school because it's a very expensive a school, it's, I doubt it's a very good philosopher. The truth is, they want money, or as some people say, they think they have too many international students. I don't know why. That place might be the faculty with more international students. I think it's about 50%. That place, now that I go to the Faculty of Arts, where most are Belgian, really has a different atmosphere and it will disappear like that. And it will not get good in the others because in the Faculty of Arts they are also increasing it. 
a master in literature, it's again now 3,500. That's not the way to treat international students. And that affects just people like me, that, just, that I'm sure that you are also in a similar circumstance. People like us that just try to make their dreams come true and to contribute to the intellectual development of humanity. And I think that's the case or the mission of a university. And we cannot let this happen. Thank you very much.